Hey, what's going on guys? Kurosama here. So today we're taking a look at the figurized Labo Asuka Langley. Now, I must say, I do prefer the rebuild Asuka to the TV version. The TV version, she was so arrogant and such a bitch for being such a crap pilot. I don't think she's ever really had any noteworthy battles in the TV version. I can't really remember much of what she's done outside of her entry, you know, kind of battle. But outside of that, she's just been kind of a really bad character. But the rebuild one, she's actually more of a badass. I think her character is toned down just a little bit from the arrogant side. And she's a little bit more level-headed. But she's still a character I truly don't like that much. But this is not going to be a review of the character, nor is it going to be a review of Evangelion. This is just going to be a review of a really nice little product. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I must give a shout out to New Type HQ. Those guys are fantastic when it comes to all your Evangelion needs. And if you're going to need some nippers or some other tools to build this model kit, you can grab them from them as well. So taking a look at the box, it's a very beautiful box. In all honesty, I really like it. I think the figure eyes Labo boxes have been looking really spicy. Uh, obviously this is going to be a layered injection model kit. And what that means is that it just has like a kind of translucent parts with other colors layered on top of each other. And you're gonna see that pretty much in the bodysuit. Uh, I think it's really cool. I like it. It, it kind of alleviates you clipping off different parts and layering on top. Uh, but overall, that's kind of the gimmick of the Labo series. And I've reviewed the Hatsune Miku. I thought it was a fantastic figure, or I guess I should say statue, uh, or zero statue or zero figure, however they call it. Now, this is going to be a little bit different when it comes to my thoughts. Now straight out of the box, she's looking fantastic. I love the details, the high gloss is looking really good, and you definitely can see that layered injection on the front of the bodysuit and in the arm. So that kind of part is looking just really, really spectacular with this little statue. Now something to note before we get into a lot of the details and just like the overall construction, is that it is a very, very light, light statue. And to be honest, I don't like that. I really like my statues to be more hefty, and this is one of them. I think this is a very nice weighted figure, and it's just drastic difference. Like it's, It feels like there's almost a pound's worth of difference with these two. And I just like mine to sit very firm on a shelf and not on a very tiny stand and it can potentially fall. Now this Asuka actually comes with stickers, and it's mostly just yellow, you got some uh, pink that's going to be for the tongue, you're going to have some green that's going to be for like the little headbands, and that's pretty much it. But regardless, having stickers for a model kit statue, it just rubs me the wrong way. I think that that was such a horrible decision on Bandai's part. I just feel like maybe they could have actually made a lot of these parts just molded parts. But looks like they went the sticker route and it's pretty unfortunate. Now her overall construction was actually pretty decent. No real issues, I pretty much just snipped everything out with one snip and put it all together. So there's gonna be maybe some visible nubs. I haven't really seen any because a lot of the nubs are pretty discreet and in a well-concealed location. So you more than likely will not be seeing too many uh, nubs except for like maybe on legs but this is going to look good, just straight up nipped right off the runners and put together. Now for comparisons, this is the 2.0 Asuka, this is the 3.0 Asuka. Honestly, look, this is one of the band press though, kind of like, uh, I think it's one of the grab, like crane machine prizes. I got this for about $10 and I love it. This is honestly the only Asuka I really felt that I needed for my collection. But I did get this one because I was very curious. Now having both of these, the $10 one and the $77 one, or you know, 7,700 yen, I can tell you this. This one, the $10 one, I think feels like a better purchase option. And the reason behind that is because this is just grossly, extremely like hyped up right now because it's Asuka. So the price is inflated 
And I think that that's just kind of like an artificial inflation. Over time, people are going to realize this is a really cool model slash statue, but it's just really not worth the price tag for what you're getting. A 7,700 yen price tag can yield you a bunch of really nice, hefty, and beautifully sculpted Evangelion figures, or perhaps some other merch. So I think the price tag is a little bit high on this. Uh, perhaps if it was around like maybe 5,000 or lower, I would see that as being a pretty reasonable price tag. But it's also like the later injection, it doesn't seem as predominant on this Labo as I've seen it with like the Fumina or the Hatsune Miku. Those, I believe are just way better looking and just have the better skin tones. This one, you're not getting the skin tone because it's a complete bodysuit. So, I don't know, I'm just really not into the different layer colors on the bodysuit. It just, it's, eh, not really that cool. Now don't get me wrong, this is a good figure. In fact, I think it's a great figure. But the fact that you're paying such a high premium price for something that you need to build, that just kind of rubs me the wrong way to be honest. So, I am just going to give my verdict right here right now. This is going to be a watch it. And I would say, if you can get it to the 5,000 yen mark, get it at that price. But anything after that, I just don't know if you're going to be satisfied. I certainly am not. Um, it doesn't really help that the 2.0 Asuka is probably my least favorite of all the different rebuild uh, Evangelion Askas. And not just that, I just really feel more satisfied with a $10 crane game you know, personality, she's actually smiling, driven Asuka, rather than this kind of very blank looking stare messing with her hair Asuka. I don't know, it's just not my thing. Um, I, I probably am just going to sell this to my friend because he does love Evangelion just as much as I do, and I'm pretty sure he didn't want to build a, you know, statue. He would probably just want to display it straight in his room, so... That's probably a perk about building this, is I can go ahead and give it to someone who really just wants a statue that they don't have to mess with. So, perks to him. But that's it for me, guys. Uh, I really hate that I had to kind of like, you know, I'm not gonna say shit on the, mo on the model slash figure, uh, but I just really was not feeling it whatsoever. However, if you do really want it and you're really inclined to try and get it at any means possible, I know Madarake does have it and New Type hopefully will be getting it, so make sure you just check that website and see if you can get it. Other than that, that's it for me guys. I'll be seeing you in the next review where we're probably going to be covering one of the weirdest things on this channel, which is going to be a couple of guns. Wow, that's definitely weird. Alright, that's it. See you later. Bye-bye.